This is a meditation to prepare you for psychedelic assisted therapy. And many people say that this practice can even mimic psychedelics and know how it may feel for you, which of course can ease your mind and relieve any anxiety you may have about the experience. So let's begin this journey today simply by noticing the way the body is already beginning to settle in and relax. The hands can find a comfortable place to rest. There, just there, that's right. As you prepare yourself for this meditation, any tension around the forehead, eyes, and the neck can release. And then, when you're ready to really let go, you can close the eyes. And now, just allowing relaxation to unfold at its own pace, taking all of it as it comes. You're listening to my voice. You're breathing in and out. And you're becoming more and more relaxed. The body feels cool, calm, and comfortable. The breath moves naturally. And perhaps you notice a place in the mind or body where you already feel a bit of light trance. That's right. That's right. And once you notice that relaxation, you can allow the trance-like state to grow. Isn't it interesting how altered states of consciousness can unfold in this natural way? After all, you've probably already experienced light forms of altered states when you go somewhere else in your mind or meditate or experience awe and connection when watching the sunrise, or have been mesmerized by music or flashing lights or drum circle, or experience the floaty feeling that comes with laughing gas or anesthesia. And in this practice today, you may be reminded of one of those experiences. As you recall the memory in this way, a feeling of them may even begin to unfold. And this relaxation will probably begin to unfold in its own natural way. And you can simply take it as it comes. And I wonder if you can also cultivate a gentle, open and curious attitude as you go deeper. Many people say this gentle curiosity helps them to have positive experiences with psychedelics. That open and curious attitude can help you through your journey, and if you see a door, you can walk through it. If you see a window, you can open it. If you see a staircase, you can climb it and experience any physical sensations or feelings. And if there is a moment of apprehension, you can easily move toward the experience instead of running away from it. And many people say that this experience is a metaphor for what is happening in their lives. Whatever you find in this journey, it can be easy to trust, relax, and let go. When you're ready to go deeper, you can become even more still by noticing the sounds you hear, beginning with the loudest sound you can hear, and I wonder if you can hear with your entire being. Good. And now, moving to a medium sound. And when you're ready to become even more still, notice the quietest sound you can hear at this moment. And now, moving to your sense of sight. Isn't it interesting that even with the eyes closed, there are so many colors on the back of the eyelids? Notice one in front of you.
And then on the next inhale, roll the eyeballs all the way up and hold the breath and hold the eyeballs up. And now exhaling and allowing the eyeballs to float down, down, down. That's right. And now you see a garden and that garden is a stairway. In your mind's eye, you can see yourself walking to the top of that stairway now. And you look down and you can see the most magical place you've ever been. A place that some part of you knows will help you cultivate peace in a way that may be so deep that it feels spiritual or perhaps connecting with power that may, for some, feel like it's connecting to some universal source or being. Walking down this stairway now, stepping down the stairway with the right foot, stepping down with the left foot, feeling the body descend, hearing the foot making contact with the stair as you go even deeper now, deeper and deeper, more and more. And you can allow yourself to go into this dreamy state, a state that can feel like you're somewhere in between being awake and being asleep. And it can feel so relaxing, so calming. That's right. And the body feels even more relaxed and the mind too is calm. That's right. Good. That's right. Deeper and deeper, more and more. Trust, relax, let go. Trust, relax, let go. And now, or at some point in this practice today, it's natural to notice how the ego, the part of you that knows you are you, has probably already begun to soften or will at some point of your journey today. Send a message to your ego now. Tell it, you'll be back. In psychedelic journeys, you may feel the ego trying to tightly grip as the medicine begins to work. The more you loosen the grip, the more peaceful journeys tend to be. If it feels like the ego is dying, tell it, you're okay. You'll be back soon. Trust. Relax and let go. It can be helpful to mindfully become aware of the part of you. So in your mind's eye, you see the part of you that knows you are you. The part of you that you refer to as I or me, your name, where you live, what you do and also a sense of the body and space and time, how tall you are, your age relative to time, a sense of the body sitting here, which is typically experienced as being separate from others. And with this sense of self come thoughts and feelings, all the things you need to do and in your mind's eye, you have a sense of this that you call I or me. And as I count up from one to seven, you can imagine that all these things, ego, body, space, and time, turning into gold dust that's being blown away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I wonder if you can notice the immersion of pure being, of pure awareness. Many people say that this helps them to feel an experience of oneness in relation to an inner world within. Others feel like a fusion of your personal self into a larger whole. Others feel awe and connection, or perhaps even sacred. And if you have even a small sense of any of these feelings, 
then you already know what psychedelic medicine is likely to make you feel. Isn't that so nice to know? I'm not sure what this pure being will help you to do. Or are you feeling joy or peace? Or perhaps a feeling of peace and tranquility? In this pure awareness, you can simply enjoy this experience. Nothing to bother. Nothing to do. That's right. Many people say this gives them perspective once they emerge back into their waking life. Now, as I count backward from five to one, you will be presented with some sort of insight. It may be something small, like, this feels nice. I really need more of this pure awareness to recharge in my life. For others, it can be a profound insight. Like the true roots of any struggles you're experiencing, for others, it can feel like a sense of universal love that is the antidote to your worldly experience. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. You can hear and feel that insight, can't you? And now remember what you got from this journey today and lean into your next journey of a non-ordinary state of consciousness with excitement, curiosity, openness for you. Come back to this garden of pure awareness often, whether it's with this track or with psychedelic assisted therapy. And now, see the stairway that brought you here. Consciousness will return to the body. You'll become more awake and alert as you walk up the stairs now. One, walking up. Two, with a sense of power now. Three, taking with you a sense of this inherent peace. Four, feeling so rejuvenated, so restored. Five, feeling the body move up now as consciousness returns fully to the body. Six, halfway up now. Seven, taking a big step up into feeling so awake, so alive. Eight, giving a little wiggle to your fingers and your toes. Nine, up and awake. 10, awake and alive. 11, so reinvigorated. 12, eyes open, awake, alive.